So everyone will want to access the calendar from time to time. So to do that, you go up under Plan, slide down to Calendar, and there's your calendar. And as you can see, we have listed the month of October, which actually is not, no, actually we're, we're in November here. Uh, if you want to go back to October, that's there. If you want to go over to December, that's here. And so back to October, over to back to November, and then over to December to see what's coming up. Easy enough. Or you can choose your year in this pull down and your month in this pull down. And you can print the, uh, the display here. But as you can see, a lot of this stuff is kind of cut off, so that's not particularly useful. Um, you can, of course, cut or click on, on each one and see the details. And there are the details for that particular that particular group or that particular event. Um, and if there if that event has RSVPs, they'll be listed here and you can actually uh, RSVP like here's Henry. I could RSVP for him right here. Going, not going, possibly going. Um, also, you know, additional youth guests, if that's appropriate, additional adult guests, etc. And you could leave a note if you'd like. So that is that. Um, one thing to note, I said that the calendar um, display wasn't particularly useful in that it gets cut off like that. Um, probably a better way to, to view the calendar is to subscribe to it. And the easy way to do that is, now here's another little shortcut. When you click on the Troop Track logo up here, it'll take you back to your dashboard page. And at the top, I've um, put in an announcement that um, is just a little FYI about calendar, using calendars with your favorite calendar client. Uh, so what you would do with uh, Outlook or you know Mac calendar application or something like that would just be to copy this link and you don't want to click on it because it's not really going to go anywhere um, so really you want to copy that link and go into your favorite calendar um, application or client and subscribe to a new calendar and use that particular link as the uh, the subscribe link and then and then it will be in your in your own calendar and you'll be able to see uh, I think all the events and whatnot much better 